Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, I have a really exciting video for you guys. If you followed me on Instagram, you will know I am a cat lover, I am cat obsessed. I always post cats on my stories. I've made a lot of like friends with the street cats around. It was only right I get my own two fur babies and it was not impulsive because obviously for like the last few years I've been saying I'm gonna get my own cats and definitely gonna get two so they have company for each other. But I've been telling my boyfriend like, I'm gonna get cats, like it's just gonna happen. I got back from Ireland and obviously I've been having like a lot of anxiety, had the anxiety attack. And just one day I was talking to my mum and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna see kind of like what kittens are around and that. And I came across this litter of six. So they had three ginger boys, one ginger girl, a ginger and white boy, and then a calico girl. And I just knew they were my dream fur babies. I just knew they were for me. So I inquired and then I said that I'll come visit them in like two days time. But she said, that she does have someone interested in the calico girl. And I was like, no, I want her like, I'm gonna go later that evening. So I managed to go later that evening. I took my best friend with me who used to live next door to me. They had six cats. He's always had cats himself. He's got one of his own. Um, so I just wanted someone that had like cat experience with me. So yeah, I just fell in love with them when I got there. They were the most adorable things ever. I haven't really ever had much experience with like kittens or seen kittens like in person. And I just never wanted to leave. I reserved them later that evening. And then I think it was a week or two weeks later I went to see them because I could pick them up at nine weeks. But because I was on holiday this week, I'm picking them up tomorrow. So she's gone for an extra week. So they're 10 weeks old yesterday. But I just wanted to go through like all the things that I picked up for them because I don't know if it will come in handy to anyone that's going to get cats or is interested. Um, and then I'm going to show you like where I'm putting their stuff, building their stuff. And yeah, just gonna show you the whole process. I will leave timestamps below in case you guys don't care for all of this stuff so you can just skip to whatever section you need to skip to. If I start off with the most boring basic thing, I did get them a little litter box from Pets at Home with a litter scooper. I got some litter and then I got their food as well, their dry food from Pets at Home as well just because that's what they're eating at the moment. She's just transitioned them to wet food, but I just wanted to have that as like a backup. I will most likely just stick to a wet food diet. We'll just see how it goes. So I got that. I probably will take the lid off of this. I'm gonna get an egg. Oh, that's what I forgot to get today. I need to get an extra lip box as well, just in case. And then for when like I need to clean it out as well. And then this is the little carrier I got them. It's from Pets at Home as well. And I think it was 24 pounds. I don't know how suitable it's gonna be, but this is the one that the lady has. So I just kind of got the same because I thought it was really nice. It's really like classy. Like I said, I don't know how practical it is. Might have to change my mind. Obviously it's just gonna be for one cat eventually, but they'll both go in this. And then I have some really beautiful blankets that my mum has made me that I want to show you, but I'll have to do it tomorrow because I left them there. So she'll bring them for me tomorrow because my mum and sister are coming with me. And then I did pick up this cute little cat bed. This is from, um, where is this from? I think this was from B&M. I don't think it was from Home Bargains, but it was £6.49. It was from Eva Or. I just thought it was really cute. And then I did pick this nice little olive bar a basket from B&M for £10. This is just to kind of like match my living room. I just liked it. And just to put all their toys in. So I did get them this toy from the range. I think it was like pound but this is what they're playing with so they're used to this so i want to get them toys that they're familiar with because i don't want them to just kind of come here and be so scared um and then i got these from the range as well they're just like the little sticks i thought i'll get a few because i don't know how practical they're gonna be and how easy they'll break and they were only like a few quid um i bought these licky lick tasty yogurt treats that i see all over like tiktok and stuff like that so i've got them i don't know if they're allowed these okay so i have to wait till they're at least two kilograms but yeah um oh it says from three months so yeah they'll be able to have them eventually and then i've got a nice little placemat to go with their bowls which you'll see in a second i've got some dreamies and then i've just got some like oh i've got a pink hair brush and then i've got some little mouse toys and then i've got the classic little laser pen that i need to sort out from amazon i've got that from amazon the brush was from Amazon. The little placemat was from Amazon. Also got this little scratch board from the range. I think this is only like four pounds because I'm not actually sure, obviously, 
what kind of scratch and stuff they'll like. So I kind of just bought a range just in case because I don't want this furniture scratched up. And then I did get this little scratching post from B&M and this was £12. They do have another one, but I thought I'll go for that. I did get them a cat tower, but I will wait until I put that up to show you because it's just in a massive box. Really cute little cat bowls on Amazon. And I just thought they were perfect. Got like a little baby pink and a sage green one, which is kind of why I bought that placemat to match, but it doesn't quite match. Um, but I love them. I think they're so cute. Some other bowls just in case. And obviously I absolutely love these. You'll see in a reason why I picked these ones, but you guys know I love pumpkins and that. So they were $4.99 from TK Maxx and they had two left and I was like, I have to snap them up. One will be for their water at the moment, but I'm going to order them a little cat water fountain because um, just based on like my research and stuff, cats like running water. So I'm going to get them that. They are literally going to be like the most spoiled fur babies ever. Um, what else did I buy? Oh, so don't call me crazy, but I think this will come in handy as well. So I picked up this Yuffie little camera and it's the, it was like a P20 one, I think it was called, like a P24 or something. And it was in the sale. It was like £48 and I got it for like 34 So I had to snap it up because... We do have like the Eufy doorbell, so it's all going to connect nicely into the app. But when I have to go to the office and they're alone all day, I kind of want to be able to watch them and see what they get up to and just make sure they're okay. I just received this in the post that I wanted to open with you guys. So this is a little trial for Blink Food. I'm really hesitant on like what food to give them. I've done like a lot of research. I'm trying to pick food that isn't too cheap to the point where it's just going to be like the jelly or it's not going to be proper meat or hardly any meat like i do want to give them really good food so i've done this trial packet on blink for six pouches for a pound so this is what they look like so i've got some chicken ones and then i've got chicken and turkey and then i've got tuna and salmon and then I've got two flaked tuna ones. So I'm really excited for these because they're grain free, high in protein, they're natural ingredients. They're not supposed to have like, you know, loads of additives. Yeah, I think it's just supposed to be a lot better overall for them. So I wanted to do that. So they were six for a pound as a trial. And then they are quite expensive normally. So I've done like 28 pouches for like 27 pounds or something like that. So it's every four weeks that I'll get a delivery. But I need to see obviously if they like them how it goes, how many I need to use, is it cost efficient? I don't know, like I just need to work it all out, but yeah, I'll learn as I go, obviously. It's my first time owning cats, so we'll see. So that is everything I've got them. I'm hoping I've got them like enough, but yeah, I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna stop rambling now. I'm gonna put the cat tower together and then I'm gonna show you like where I'm placing things. So I'm basically, this had like all my baker stuff in, but I'm gonna take it out. It's not really much of an indent, but this is gonna be like their little corner. I'm gonna have their food here. I'm gonna move the water over here and eventually I'm gonna get pictures of them hanging up there. I think I'll probably put their litter box somewhere over here for now. So yeah, I'm gonna tidy up quickly, sort things out and show you guys the process. Oh my god guys this took me way longer than it should have to build so we've got two little bits up here for him we've got this but i don't know how well that will work especially when they get bigger they've got their little hut that they can go in and then scratching posts and obviously like little dangly things i think these are meant to be spares so that's okay um yeah i got this off of amazon it was about 65 pounds and then it will go here but obviously I'm gonna put it in the kitchen and then little footstool thing back under here. I'm gonna put their cat toys over there in the corner. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put it there just so they can stare out the window and have a little stalk at people.
I look like a bit like a mess because I'm in my cleaning mode. All I've got left to do is the litter tray, which I think I'll do in the morning because I do want to make a cake, edit my holiday vlog and tidy the bathroom, make the bed. So I've still got a lot to do. Good morning, guys. So today is the day I am so excited. I've just finished prepping. I've just got to do the litter, block, litter box. I've just got to wash it and then I'm going to fill it up. Mama Sprout should be here soon. And then we'll probably leave around half nine, 9.45. I feel like a mad woman. I've been doing loads of stuff this morning. I've been super busy. So yeah, I'm just about to eat. Oh my God, my toast. <laughs> or oh, saved. So I'm just about to have breakfast. I've just done some washing. I'm doing more washing. I've been tidying. I'm gonna get their food and water ready. I'll show you the blankets when mum gets here. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit because I'm super busy. I forgot to show you yesterday. I made some old school cake for the lady and for her and her sons. Um, so I need to box it up as well and get that going. So these are the blankets we've made them. This is for my boy and this is my girl. I haven't told their names yet. Because oh. we'll reveal later. Do they know how they got the names? No. No. Sprout chose them. <laughs> yes. Thank you for giving me We'll give you a little hint. They're autumn-y Halloween theme. Mum's helped me do the litter. Oh my God, I look a mess. So we're just going to finish getting ready. I just got to do some little bits, brush my teeth, finish getting dressed, sort their carrier out, and then we'll get going. I'm not going to... I'm not going to vlog when I'm there. If I take like any snaps or videos or whatever, I'll include them, but... I'll only vlog once we leave the place because we're not going to put it on camera. Right, guys, we're on our way home. Oh, I didn't know there was a little mess. Kittens are there. My ginger boy keeps <laughs> me out in. Um, my girls settle down. We'll reveal their names soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this makes me so sad. I don't want to cry. Oh, They're so curious. Oh no, look at the litter. <laughs> Hi babies. So he wouldn't stop me out in the car, would you? She doesn't know what to do. So mean. So guys, I've put their beds in here. That's the one I bought them. That's the one the lady made. Oh, oh, oh. Just let him do his thing. You're definitely going to be the confident one. Hopefully, must probably oh. sleep on this. Mm -hmm. Oh god, where's she gonna jump? Curtains. <laughs> no, sofas. She's lining everything up. Oh look, she's. We didn't clean down the sofa, did we? You know what you should do it on the liner on the um, <laughs> kitchen floor and just do it up and down like that and then watch them oh. run up and down. Oh, where has she got Oh, she managed to get up the stairs, didn't she? Oh, it's How does it feel, Bernard, being a cat dad? This is all he's going to do with them now. Filming it. This is a vlog, Mum. Of what? My cat vlog. The cats are chilling on the table. He loves his auntie sprout. He does, it makes me so happy. Hey 
think, baby boy? He's trying to eat some cake. Going away. Yeah. He's sniffing off it. Yeah. What are you yeah, doing, sweet boy? Cake. I said to Nicole, I was moving quite a lot in the house. Like we were playing. Well, they get yeah. used to people's scent, don't they? Yeah. Come on. It's not like a rat running around. <laughs> Where'd you get that from then? Amazon. Ah. Is that what it's for? Cats? Yeah. Oh, where did they get that? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. <laughs> You're cute. Right, I managed to bribe the babies out. He won't eat or drink. Oh, she's back eating. Baby girl's back out. I put her in a little tray, she weren't interested. Got one fed tummy. Guys, I had to put some of these treats in there and he was trying to pick them out and now he's decided he likes the food. He is scoffing that down boy. He also did a wee in his tray, I'm really proud of him. All they've been doing is running after each other. She's gonna get him. Oh. <laughs> you two are going to be so naughty, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, sweet boy. That's it. Come on, Quill. Hello. Can't see where I'm struggling. Burying. Guys, I got the airbed out, all of our stuff. I'm gonna sleep down here. Hello. This is where they like to go and hide and run up and down. Good morning, guys. It's day two with the fur babies. Where did Pumpkin go? Oh. Oh. Guys can see me looking an absolute mess. We slept downstairs with the fur babies yesterday and we put our little pet cam on that I got them. And yeah, like 9.45 we started drifting off and then they just started running around. So we put them in the kitchen. I put like everything in there and they settled down. And then yeah, they were running around this morning. Just managed to give them some food. And now they're running around and we're just playing with them. They're fighting each other. <laughs> I love the way they climb these. Wait, what's my phone? Hi, sweet baby. gone where's he gone got my first war wounds from miss sweet girl over there trying to get poo off her leg right everyone i have a present for you who's that who's that baby ah <laughs> probably not the wisest idea is it i have had the babies now for what day are we on it's tuesday and i got them on saturday I thought i would finally tell you their names Sweet boy. You too. Uh uh. -uh. No bite him. Hey. Um, no. They are very well behaved. They've settled in so well. Both of them are so confident now. She still follows his footsteps, so it would just be easy if I tell you their names because then I can just call them that. As you may or may not know, I absolutely love autumn and Halloween, Halloween especially. And I was thinking like maybe I should go along with that theme, and then my sister was giving me names. And she actually picked these two and I was like, hmm, I'm not sure about them, especially his name. And then, I don't know, like, I was like, actually, no, I do really like them. And they just stuck, like, we couldn't see them with any other name. Can I show you on camera, Bubby? So this is baby girl, Maple. You are my baby. She's a little bit shy and reserved still sometimes, but she does love a cuddle now. She seems to follow me a lot more and come over. As you can see, she's calico. She's got 
three colors on her. It's kind of like blacky brown, but I think her coloring is so unique. I saw her first and was like, she has to be mine. And then I picked him because he was really fluffy. Oh, you are a little rascal today. He loves a cuddle as well. Uh-uh. No. We don't go for mummy's hair. I've had a few little... Uh-uh. Don't come on mummy's lap. Come on then. So this is Pumpkin. Say hi. Mm. No. He's mostly ginger, light ginger with some white. He loves a basket, he loves a box, he loves a bag. However, she don't. Um, so yeah, that's their names. I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. And they're my babies. They will, you will see them in a lot more videos. I literally am obsessed with them. I am a proper cat mum. I did make them an Instagram as well because I just had to. You guys probably could see that coming, um, which I'll leave down below, but it's, it's maple dot and dot pumpkin. I really wanted maple and pumpkin, but that username was taken and loads of other variations were taken so I kind of just settled on that because it just looks a bit more like simple and clean. So yeah, they're my babies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload and I'll see you guys in my next video.